What's up, YouTube? It is your boy JB, and I am here with the review for The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Does that look better? Not really. Whatever. This is Beverly Hills season 11, right, you guys? Episode number three. Sutton's gotta give. Sutton's gotta go for me. All right, you guys. So before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video, or any other video on the channel and you guys are not already subscribed to the channel what are we doing here you guys why are we still going out on a date why are you inviting me on a date having me eat my food at the end of the date stiffing me to pay for my own meal hit that subscribe button for me guys hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when i drop anything else and share this video and with that all being said let's go ahead and get into the episode review of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, shall we? All right, you guys, so this episode, it picks up where the last one left off. You guys remember, last week's episode ended with Sutton, Crystal, and Kyle. And they were all talking about, you know, the comment, well, the comment that Garcelle made to Kyle. And I'm sorry, I still can't see, I can't place any blame on Crystal. I still feel that it was all on Sutton. So, you guys remember that um, Crystal asked Sutton, tell me you're not that girl. Tell me you're not that girl that says she doesn't see color. So, Sutton says, no, I don't see color and I don't see race. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, you are one of those people. And honestly, when it comes down to it, I... I can't stand it when a person says that to me, you know, say uh, a white person. More specifically, I can't stand it when a white person says, when people talk about race, like I've had conversations, especially on social media, I've had conversations with some of you know who's ignorant ass followers, and I'll be like, oh, so you see color. Uh, yes, I see color, I'm not colorblind. <laughs> Like, I hit him with that comment, like, because someone said that, oh, so you see color, so you're a racist. How am I a racist? Because I see color. I'm not colorblind, you asshole. Because, I mean, what point, we'll talk about it a little later, but yeah, that was I say, oh, I don't see color, but so you see color, so that must mean you're a racist. How am I a racist? Because I see color. I look in the mirror every day and see that I have dark skin. You know, my skin is darker than yours. I'm black. I wake up to this skin every day. This is the first thing I see in the morning when I go to the restroom to wash my face and brush my teeth. So obviously I see color, you jackass. Like I hate when people say that dumb ass shit. So then Sutton, Sutton can really miss me when it comes to these white girl, these white woman tears because she keeps crying and breaking down. I'm just like, Sutton, shut up. Like stop making this about you. That's my problem with Sutton. Sutton is making this all about her. And, you know, for me, I'm feeling Crystal. I don't know about you guys. I like Crystal. I'm still, I don't like Sutton. Could it change? Potentially. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I will never like Sutton. It could change. Just, I don't see it changing at this point because she's just rubbing me the wrong way. And she actually rubbed me the wrong way throughout the entire episode. So, I will say, you know, I am enjoying Kathy Hilton. I don't know about anybody else, but Kathy, I'm loving Kathy. She's giving me what I miss with Kim Richards. I just wish Kim was, you know, well, and, and you know, well, I really wish Kim was well. God, because what, what reunion was that? Which reunion was that, that Kim kept talking about how clean she and Monty were? I'm like, you a lie. Which reunion was, I do not remember which reunion that was, but I know it was one, re ooh, oh shit, did I just say something about Monty? God, forgive me for that one. Forgive me for talking about Monty. I don't speak ill of the dead. Oh God, I didn't like that. I shouldn't have done that. But I got, I, you know, shame, you know, I gotta speak the truth. In that reunion, when Kim kept talking about she was clean, I'm like, no, you're not Kim. I'm like, I'm looking at you. You ain't giving me clean, but if you want to say you clean, you clean. That was actually the reunion before that season that Renna kept saying that Kim was close to death. 
that was the reunion because I looked at Kim at that entire reunion and the the thing that said the thing that let me know that Kim wasn't well was the way that Kim was fidgeting on that couch. Kim was fidgeting, but um yeah, I'm loving Kathy so far. So then the ladies are having breakfast and they are talking about the election and who they think is gonna you know take the election. They said Biden here is by a landslide. I mean, if you go by what you know, who supporters said in the last election that he won, he won it by a landslide. Then Biden and Harris did win it by a landslide, which technically they didn't. But we're gonna go by the logic of you know who supporters. So then Rena is talking about the fact that she was on Celebrity Apprentice twice, and she was fired by you know who twice. And when I saw his face come across the screen, I almost threw up. Ugh! I never want to see that orange face again in my life. I could go the rest of my life and never see that man's face. I would be too happy. But um, where we at? So Rena's talking about how he was on a Celebrity Apprentice, that he wasn't the person that you know she we saw after the you know after the 2016 election and through his whole entire presidency. But now she dislikes him. Join the club. The rest of the world, besides his his ignorant band of idiot followers. Now, if anybody on my channel is, you know, one of his supporters, I'm sorry to you. Just saying, I'm sorry. I don't take back what I said because I, you know what, I, I will take back what I said. Not all of his supporters are ignorant. It's the all, it's the ones that just believe every little thing he says. Because I know some, I know people who, I know some people who support him and they can, you can reason with them. But the ones that you can't reason with, those are the ones that I'm talking about. The ones that you cannot reason with. So let's move on, you guys. Actually, before we move on, um, so the show that's on now, Family Karma. Do you guys watch that show? Let me know in the comment section below. I've never actually watched the show. But let me know if it's a good show and if I should watch it. Because, um, you know, it gives me a vibe of Shaws of Sunset. I used to, I've watched Shaws of the Sunset since season one, but over the years, the cast has gradually got on my last entire nerve. I've never liked Reza. Never been a fan of Reza's. MJ has always annoyed me. Gigi, I've, all, I loved, I've loved Gigi since day one. Mike, Mike can't keep his duel in his pants. And that's always been my problem with Mike. Especially when he, when him and Jessica got, oh, him and Jessica, they got, got married, got divorced, and now he's with this new, what is this new girl's name, Paulina? Yeah. But yeah, let me know about Family Karma if you guys watch it. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. So Sutton, Sutton pulls Crystal to the side. So at this point, I realized Sutton was on, on her little apology tour to Crystal, trying to clean things up about how she acted the night before. Now she says that she felt insulted by Crystal saying, you're that girl who don't see color. Well, you further backed up what she said by saying you don't see color and you don't see race. So how is that insulting? Oh, I know how it's insulting. You don't want people to think that you're a racist. Is that what it is, Sudden? That's what I believe it is. You don't want people to say, oh shit. So Sutton saying she don't see color and she's from the South. Oh, chick is racist. That's what you're afraid of is people saying that you're racist. And I love what Crystal said to her, especially compared saying, you know, when it comes to the whole, I don't see color thing, what you're trying to say is you don't see skin color, but you can see that this shirt is red and white. You can see that the shirt is red and white. You can see that this microphone is black. You can see that this phone case is blue. You can see that this phone is white. You can see that this is black, but you can't see that my skin is black. What you're doing is diminishing what we as people of color go through. I feel like that's what, you, that's what I feel when it comes to people who say, that, who they say that they don't see color. You're diminishing my experiences. That's how I feel. You guys can agree or disagree. I, you know, we can agree to disagree with that one. We can really agree to disagree with that one. Now, see, my thing with Sudden is I want Sudden to see Sudden is, is good about this. She can take it and flip it and make it about herself. 
because once again, she's talking about when she was in, when she moved to New York and she was on the elevator and a guy heard her accent and he asked her, is she racist? Well, that just goes to show his ignorance for one. If you hear somebody with a Southern accent, you automatically think that they're racist. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys here, like, I don't know if you guys, I don't know. See, for me, I'm, since I'm from Texas, I know people tell us that we have an accent. I don't hear it. I don't know what, I don't know what a Texas accent would sound like because I'm from Texas, so I don't know what the accent would sound like. But I'm pretty sure, I actually, I have friends from different states that'll tell me, you do have an accent. I'm like, well, I, I don't hear it. I've been in Texas all my life, so I know what we sound like down here, and I don't ever hear an accent. Now, I will say that one person that I've heard on television has put on an accent, and that is Leanne from The Real Housewives of Dallas. Leanne put on a thick ass accent and I don't never really hear I, I don't really hear oh okay maybe I do hear an accent maybe I do hear it but see if you will listen to me so if I'm going to another state and I have my accent someone's gonna say oh are you racist I'm black I have an accent how uh, so I'm racist because I have an accent that's ignorance yeah, like I said, I just wish Sutton would stop making it about herself. I really would. Then, because that's really what the issue is. She keeps making things about herself that really shouldn't be about her. Stop diminishing people because that's what you're really doing. You're diminishing people. Well, let's move All on. All right, you guys. So the ladies, they're getting ready to go do, I don't know what it was because it looked like it was a train track and they were pedaling. So Erica... Erica, 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 I'm going to give you just a little bit of advice. You want to know what that advice is? Do you? Stop talking about fugitives and felons. Just stop talking about them all together. Eh, eh, don't, mention a don't mention a fugitive, don't mention a felon, don't mention a court case, don't mention anything. Speaking of Erica... Erica, Erica, Erica. Speaking of Erica, um, have you guys saw, let's see if I can pull it up. Let's see if I can pull this up because it just came, I just noticed it today. Erica and Tom. So Erica and Tom have this special that is going to be on ABC. I believe it's going to be on Hulu. It's going to be on there June 14th. So it's Eric and Tom Girardi's legal scandals explored in a new documentary, The Housewife and the Hustler. <laughs> Just rigging it out, what they're doing. Oh my God. They are literally trying to put all of this on Tom. <laughs> oh my God, The Housewife and the Hustler. Y'all yeah, putting this all on Tom. Like everything is on Tom. Ooh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. They are putting everything on fucking Tom. You've got to be shitting me. Oh my God. Oh my God. They are going to put this all on Tom. <laughs> that's hilarious because I mean oh they're gonna really put this all on Tom Tom I feel bad for you buddy um so when the ladies do that thing that, that I don't know what it was I really don't I don't know what to call it but it looked fun however Sutton would not have been with me I would have told Sutton you either gotta ride by yourself or sit to the side because she just kept complaining the entire time which got on my nerves now, I will say Sutton did redeem herself at one part in this episode. So once that was over, she and Sut she so she and Crystal and Garcelle were in the car together and she and Crystal bonded over their father's deaths. You know, Crystal's dad died of Alzheimer's three and a half years ago and Sutton's dad committed suicide 18 years ago. Um, Like I said, they bonded and I was like, oh, 
there's a different side to sudden. Would have never, I mean, she just gets on your nerve, on my nerves so much. I'm like, oh, she's not complaining for once. She's not making everything about her. She is literally bonding with Crystal. Um, so then we see them, they go back to the house. Sutton had on these funny looking shoes and they find out that the shoes are, what, like $2,000? Those fuzzy slippers were $2,000. They were ugly as hell, to be quite honest with you, for $2,000. Um, and then, you know, Garcelle is talking about Paris. You know, she interviewed her on The Real. And, you know, she's talking about how interesting it is to hear Paris talk in her, her real voice, which it really is interesting to hear Paris talk in her real voice these days. And then she was talking about the fact that, you know, she used to see Paris, you know, at parties, at fashion shows, but she would always be on her phone. And she would be like, why are you here? So then, you know, um, Kyle and... Um, Kathy says that the reason that, you know, she would do that is because she's shy and what, what else was it? She's shy and she's uncomfortable. You know, looking at Paris Hilton from back in the day, I would have never got that she was shy or uncomfortable. That's cool. All right, you guys, let's move on. All right, you guys, now we're at the end of the episode. I didn't realize that. So, the ladies go out to dinner. It was a nice dinner. It was a socially distanced dinner, so they were at different tables. So, they had three women at one table, two at another, two at another. And I think it was... Because I know at one table, at one point, it was Kyle, it was Erica, and it was Garcelle. But then Erica and... Um, Kath, no, Eric and Kathy flipped. So, it was Kathy, Garcelle... And yeah, Kathy, Garcelle, and Kyle. Then at the, the at the table next to Kathy, Garcelle, and um, Kyle, there was um, Dorit and um, and and um, it was Dorit and Crystal. So Dorit and Crystal were at another table, and then you had Sutton at one table. Oh, okay, so it was just three different tables. It was Sudden, it was Erica, and then it was Renna. Cool. So, let's see. So, we find out that Renna has a new business that she's venturing into, Renna Beauty. I was like, oh, how original. You copying off of Fenty Beauty? Okay. Go ahead, Renna. Do you. I ain't hating. Um, so, then Sudden brings up the conversation that she had with Crystal. And so then she asked Erica, since, you know, Erica's another Southern girl from Georgia, she asked Sutton if, nope, Sutton asked Erica if she feels as if, you know, being a white girl and from, she didn't say being a white girl. She just said, you know, being from the South, that people think she's racist. But what she's saying is being a Southern white woman, do people think that you're a racist? And Erica says, no, I've never gotten that. They are so annoying. Um, so yeah, she says, no, she's never got that. And once again, it's a sudden making it all about herself. Cause she's talking about how she got in her feelings about, you know, the conversation that she had with Crystal. And they were just like, why? And that's why she said, being a Southern woman, people, you know, equate her as a racist. No. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. She's actually, with the stuff that she's doing, she's giving racist vibes. I don't think she's racist, but she's definitely giving those vibes off that she is racist. But I don't think she is. So then Dorit chimes in. You know, Dorit has to let us know she's traveled the world. Um, so over that. And then she's talking about the fact that, you know, Erica's been around. Erica's been multicultured. You know, Erica's lived in New York, L.A., and Sutton was like, I take offense to that because I'm multicultural as well. And the was like, I'm not saying that you're not. But, oh God. Sutton just figures a way to make everything about her. Really, that's truly, that's what it is. So then, you know, here's another time where she makes it about her. So, Dorit and Kathy, they were in on this prank together with each other. So, 
they were pretending like they were chugging their whole, you know, marti dirty martinis, but they weren't. They were drinking water with the olives in there. And I was like, oh, that is hilarious. So then Dorit, she texts Erica. She says, Erica, you know, did you get something? Let her know to look at her phone. So Erica looked at her phone because Erica and Renna thought that they really chugged the martini. So then, you know, um, oh my God, that would have been a, oh my God, that really would have been funny. If Dorit didn't text them, that would have been hilarious. So here's the thing. When Dorit and Kathy did that, they thought that they were really drinking the mar martinis. So then they asked Renna and Erica to join in and they were like, sure, let's do it. But either way, go, the joke was, the prank was still funny, but it really would have been even more funny if Dorit had never texted Erica or Renna and told them and Renna and Erica had actually downed a whole freaking martini. That would have been funny as fuck. But either way, go, it was still funny because when Dorit texted them, she texted them that she was drinking water. So they were like, yeah, let's, ch let's do it. So they joined in as well with water as well. So they're flipping the prank back on Kathy, which was funny. So then you can see Sudden get in her feelings. I'm like, Sudden, this is not about you. There had, I mean, and if you figured, you could have figured it was easy to figure out. Like that was, that was pretty easy to figure out. Especially with you sitting right next to Dorit. When Dorit put her, she asked Erica, did she get something? She put her hand up to her face. You saw Erica on her phone. You could have been like, okay, they're up to something. I don't know what it is, but they're up to something. And she didn't know, she noticed that. But then she got offended. She got in her feelings and offended that she wasn't in on the joke. I'm like, it ain't, a, it's not about you. And first of all, it's not that deep. And then she got offended. She got even more offended when they got into the van. So it was her, it was so, so sudden, it was Crystal, it was Garcelle, and it was Kathy. So they were talking about it in the car. So I guess, you know, Crystal gave her a little nudge on her leg to be like, shh. Kathy doesn't know that she is getting pranked by them. And Kat, and not Kathy, but Sutton got on her feelings about that. I'm like, oh my God, why did y'all give her a diamond this season? Seriously, why did, why did Bravo feel the need? Why did Bravo and Andy feel the need to give Sutton a diamond? I think it's because y'all overhyped her last season. I feel like that's what it is. I think a lot of people overhyped her because she went after Teddy um, Mellencamp. I think that's really what it is. They were like, oh, she and she and Teddy had this huge little rivalry with each other. We liked her. People, because, you know, people love to hate Teddy. I don't have an issue with Teddy. Did I think she was a little boring? Absolutely. But I mean, what else? What else? What else? What else? So yeah, Sudden made that all about her. And that's real. I'm not even going to dig deep into Sudden because I don't really care. It was stupid. It was a prank. Who, I mean, if it's a prank, why would you tell everybody at the fucking table the prank? That makes no sense. But yeah, you guys, that's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let me know what you guys think about the episode and we will discuss it. Leave your comments, um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop things and share this video. And until the next one, you guys stay safe, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Whatever you do, do be safe in doing so. Be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.